Welcome if it's your first time. My name is Tali Adewale and this is Despite Them. Today, <laughs> okay, let me explain. Let me explain, guys. We're talking about Marry My Husband, which is filming on Prime Video. It's a Prime Video original um, adaptation of a webtoon manga of the same name. I don't know if they're called mangas, but a webtoon comic, I guess, book. I left Netflix. I was like, you know what? I'm taking a break from Netflix because the Korean dramas keep getting me on Netflix. And I'd seen a, a skit earlier, like a clip of, I guess this was what it was, on TikTok. So when I was scrolling, I was like, oh, marry my husband. That seems interesting. And I looked into it and it only had two episodes. I love the ones that are just starting, you know, so because I can follow along. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's watch one episode. And oh my God, hooked, light and sinker, everything, like drag me out of the water, fillet me and serve me up people because <laughs> they got me. It is so good. They got me so good that I went to look for the webtoon uh, manga and read it. I didn't read it. Shout out to CK. CKT Chaotic, is that how she says it? Shout out to CKT Chaotic, who reads those webtoon drama series when we don't want to read them to ourselves. I saw you can get it free online, you can just Google it and you get the webtoon series if you wanted to, but I found her channel on YouTube and I was like, if she's gonna read it to me, I'm gonna listen. And she does a perfect job too, she does voices and I just love the way she does it. She did absolutely fantastic, so shout out to her. Check it out if you guys are interested in reading the webtoon and seeing where the live um, live action adaptation is gonna go I was interested and I'm watching this till the end come February 20th we will be here now um I thought about different ways that I was gonna do this I wasn't sure if I was gonna just you know watch it and we'll talk about it or if I was gonna do a reaction reaction videos are more interesting but they're also a lot more work because <laughs> YouTube copyright strikes are real people they keep blocking my videos I keep having to chop them up and it's just annoying but I promise I'll get better I think the more I do the better I become definitely better than what I was doing last year but let's dive on in that was a very long intro I know but I just wanted to explain to you how hooked these people got me so when a woman witnesses the, the affair between her best friend and her husband and is murdered by them, she goes back in time to change her future and seek revenge. That is the story. Pere, they don't even need to sugarcoat anything. That is literally what happens. So obviously after listening or reading the webtoon, I know kind of like the foundation and where they're trying to go with the series. And I love it. But after watching episodes one and two, I was like, oh, I need a time to breathe. We're going to talk about the characters. We're going to talk about um, the four main characters and then the story so far. And then I'm going to react to episodes uh, three and four. Three today, four tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is packed, people. Tomorrow has this, Marry My Husband, episode four. And it has Singles Inferno, episode 10 and 11. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. I'm already exhausted from going back to work today, people. Can't even start to explain that. Anywho, so in episode one, um, they start out with her in the hospital. Um, they show her and her best friend. Her best friend is pumping her up. Sumin? Oh, Sumin is a different kind of vial, people. We'll get to it. Her best friend is pumping her up, up saying that you can deal with this. She obviously has cancer. Um, you know, really giving her rah-rah, like you can do anything as long as you have me by your side. Her husband is nowhere to be seen. Um, cut to later in the hospital, she calls her husband. He's not picking up. They tell her that she either needs to pay her bill or exit the hospital. She calls her husband saying, are you not going to pay my bill? For love of Christ, like I'm sick here. I have cancer. The least you can do is pay my bills. You don't have to come and visit me. Didn't answer. So she uses her last, you know, 10,000 won as a cab. The cab driver is talking to her, you know, just pumping her, her up, encouraging her, letting her... I don't know why my hitches are disappoint, disappearing on me today. Letting her know. <laughs> That's my Yoruba people. It's, it's really playing through today because I'm tired. The cab driver is letting her know. He says that, you know, um, don't worry about it. You will gain your health back. You will make a lot of money and you will find somebody who loves you, you know? And she's sick. So all of this is just like, okay, it is what it is, right? Um, she tries to pay him. He gives her back the money, says it's his last time. Um, he's not going to charge her because today is his last day as a cab driver and he drives off. She goes upstairs, finds her husband in bed with her, her best friend. 
them discussing about the life insurance that he had taken on her. So just saying, oh, sp planning to spend the money. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to do this with the money. We're going to do that with the money. We're just waiting for her to die. This pickable. Honestly, like, ah, I was shaking. I was so angry. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You think that I, well, actually, I didn't know what was going to happen. I watched this blind, so that was kind of nice, but I was so pissed off. I was really, really angry. So she screams, you know, they find out that they figured out that she's there. Um, the husband tells her that she should just die already. The friend says life is for the living and that she needs to just let go. She wants to live and she's going to live with the husband. Like, they just tell this woman stupid things. She says, I'm going to, you know, blow the whistle on your insurance fraud because that's exactly what you're doing. Husband pushes her. I think he even hit her. He hit her. Then he pushed her. And she fell into the glass table and they watched her die. She wasn't even dead yet, but they watched her die. <laughs> Next day, she wakes up. She's back in her office. Um, her husband, who was then her boyfriend, is talking to her. And they get into this whole fight. Her boss comes, pulls them apart. She runs because obviously she's discombobulated. Like she doesn't know what's happening. She was just dying one second. All of a sudden, her husband is standing in front of her, calling her honey, you know, holding her. Her friend comes and is saying, what's wrong with you? So she runs, she leaves the office and finds out that she'd gone back in time 10 years. She then, obviously they now figure out as she figures out everything that's happening. She went back in time. Her boss is very, very attentive. Like he followed her out, made sure that she got home safe, bought her food, you know, because she didn't have a bag. She'd run out of the office. So she comes to terms. She's, she's eating. It's the end of the day in the evening. She's eating and she brings out the money that the boss gave her and sees the money that the cab driver gave, gave her and realizes that, notices that there's a heart on the money. I realized that it was her dad that was the cab driver. Now you guys know me and dead moms. <laughs> but this one also hit me because apparently it's dead parents that get me at this point in time. And she realized that it was her dad. And when she was sobbing, guys, when she was sobbing, I was sobbing with her. I was like, it's okay. He's looking out for you. At least he's looking out for you. That's something, you know. She realized that it was her dad. Her dad had given her the opportunity to go back, you know, in time with her knowledge and everything. So she went back with 10 years worth of knowledge. So... She decided to use that to her advantage, figured out that she can steal somebody else's lock because she decided that she was going to steal her husband's lock. Her husband is not, is currently her boyfriend. She tries to break up with him, but he gets violent. So that was not the, that was, that didn't end up being the intention. Decides that, okay, if her best friend wants her life so much, she's just, she's going to give it to her just a little early. She's not going to wait for them to kill her, obviously. She's not going to marry him because she was miserable in the whole this day. She realized that the stress of marrying him, of him quitting his job, making her the sole earner in the family, of his mom always criticizing her because she's an orphan, because her mom left her dad. Like just the stress of being associated with this man caused gastric cancer. Can you imagine when somebody has literally stressed you to death slowly over a long time? And then they, they show us that her best friend, who's Sumin, has been psychologically just manipulating her, keeping her by her side and isolating her from everybody else so she can torture her and bully her. Why under the disguise of calling it friendship? That one, that one hit me hard because I was like, why? In the webtoon, we find out why. And honestly, it was very stupid. It was absolutely stupid. I thought that whatever Sumin got, she deserved. Because it was a very, very stupid thing. They were explaining it. And I don't want to spoil it. Because I don't know how they're adapting the webtoon to this. So I want to see how this evolves. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. But it was just dumb and diabolical. So in the first two episodes, we see that uh, G1, who is the main character, is totally focused on revenge right now. In the webtoon, she gains a lot more confidence as soon as she realizes that she went back in time. But in this one, it's gradual, which it's fine. It is what it is. I'm going to enjoy it for what it is. But she's really, really focused on revenge right now. It's obviously, her boss, G Hyuk, is... Um, is her is supposed to be the love interest. He's actually really handsome. He's tall, like the way they described him. Even like the way he dotes on her now, without even a romantic relationship on the horizon or anything like that. It's very, very endearing. Actually, very cute. 
So we know that that's a love interest. It's well hard to focus on that. She's really focused on revenge for now. And I understand. I understand if you escape something like that and you you know what they did to you and then they pretend to be your friend. It's like, I want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you bad. So for now, she is focused on revenge. And I hope that things switch for her. But for now, that's what we're, we're seeing. I'm actually excited to watch episode three because I think it's going to be amazing. Um, Sukmin... Sukmin is a lot of, she does a lot of backhand comments. She's narcissistic. So is the, the husband, main one, and, ex, and extremely passive aggressive. So I'm just interested in seeing how they're adapting everything. We're all caught up now. I've caught you up on what happened in episodes one and two. Uh, where we left off, main one had kind of like, wiggled his way into her house took a shower and now he's waiting for her and he's naked obviously she's not going to sleep with him she does scream at the end of episode two but we'll see what happens in this one so i'm stoked people let's watch this and see let's just watch it oh <laughs> no 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 exactly like he's so aggressive i hate him so much Yeah, I wonder if Ji Hyuk ordered it. Good for you. Oh no. Today, Mina Shi's such a reaction is so embarrassing. Mina Shi, what do you think about our relationship? What do you think? What do you think? 야너 신병 걸렸냐? 어? 뭐안 하던 짓을 하고 그래 야눈 열어보라고 왜 그래 요즘에 시간이 좀 필요할 것 같아 힘들 것 같으면 이야기해줘 미나 씨 의견 100% 받아들일게 I really can't stand this guy I really do not like him at all <laughs> Yes girl Perfect 나더 쉽게 생각하는 거 아니야 난네 영혼을 더 사랑해. Lies. 야 솔직히 너 말라 비틀어져 갖고 뭐볼거 있냐? 어? 아니 뭐 해야지 말고. She's an asshole. 오빠가 좀 미안했다. Oh my god. 자자고. Get out. Just get out. Oh, gross. Oh, he's so gross. He and Sumin, they deserve each other and a lot more. I wonder who ordered the chicken. Probably, probably uh, the boss. I go. Yeah, no, I'm going to go. Oh, it was. So, this is a. So, what was his name? Ah, he's a guy who's a good one. But, I'm going to go. I love how he takes care of her. Honestly, it's the best thing. Oh, <laughs> 너 갑자기 치킨 다 들고 어디 갔다 오는 거야? 근데 배달은 내가 지금까지 얼마나 정신 없던 줄 알아? 어? 아니 지옥이 형이 키워라고 했어 이씨 뭐말 못할 뭔가 있... <웃음> 뭐 이런, 이러니까 내가 뭐못 물어보지 <웃음> 동창회가 있습니다 어떤 남자가 동창회가 있다고 하더라고요 근데 누군지 모르겠어요 분명히 동창은 아닌데 아, 야 이거 이거 뭔가 수상하다 어? 이럴 땐 괜히 엉키지 않는 게 좋아 첫사랑 보고 싶은 거 아니면 가지 마라. 내가 뭘 어찌 했는데. 네 진짜 그러는 거 아니다. 다시는 내 아는 척 하지 마라. I wasn't really a fan of them cutting her hair though. She looked great. I mean, she looked good even when she was sick. That's how beautiful this girl is. But the hair chop, I thought that the long hair in the webtoons was a lot cuter. I am just saying. Nah, girl, you gotta go shopping. No, 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 no. Oh my God. I don't even dress, but I have better clothes. Oh, wow. 사실은 나 오늘 많이 서운했어. 그 대가는 일요일 날 고술정에서 치르게 될 거야. 느낌 없음. 꾸미는 게 하루아침도 아니고. Sorry, I need to use my inner voices when I'm insulting other women. 
내가 UNK에 지인 추천으로 계약직 꽂아줬댔잖아. 다니면서 박미란 대리님한테 많이 생겼나 봐. 야야야, 이 썸남 이름이 박미란 아이가? 같은 사람이가? 와우, this girl is so calculated. 시원아 둘이 같이 밥 먹는 거 아니었어? 오랜만이네 다들 Oh, they're gonna go show us the makeover first. Come on! We did the intro already! Show us her face! Ah! <laughs> She's so peppy! Yeah, but you knew this already, didn't you? Oh, is she gonna remember all the other things that this girl did to her? Just seeing Sumin makes my blood boil. Oh my god. <laughs> the baby voice really it it annoys me. what was going on though the psychological manipulation must have been insane I guess since since high school yeah so a lot how awesome is it to become? Oh, I was. Oh, I will spill the beans. No, 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 no. Zip it, girl. Zip it. You guys don't know yet. Oh my god. High school. 그냥 물어보시죠. 왜 그러냐고. Yeah. 그걸 어떻게 물어봐? 아니 안 물어보면 남의 속을 어떻게 합니까? Exactly. 어 저는. Can you imagine she had somebody like this in her life? And those idiots ostracized her from everything. Oh, you see the amazing people that she will meet throughout this whole thing that she was ostracized from. Can't even speak ostracized from. Guys, I was seeing red when I was listening to the, the webtoon, honestly. Oh. Oh damn! Look at those shoes! <gasps> Look at the back of that dress! <gasps> Don't cry! Don't cry! No! She looks beautiful! Oh! 
Oh, damn. Oh, wow. I love it. Even from episode one alone, just catching them in the act. She deserves it. That is such an ass. I can't stand him, honestly. Honestly, it hurts my heart that there are people like this out there who are just <laughs> suffering. <laughs> Nice. Nicely done. This guy too is a lot. He's actually a lot cuter than the guy from the web. Too serious. Oh, gross, gross. Oh, gross. Ew, he just licked his fingers and then he touched the chicken. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's right, bitch. I can't, I can't. She is, she is. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, oh, it makes me feel so good. She's so spot on. Honestly, she calls it like nobody's business. Check out what I say. Nan Tinta Tinguga. Okay, Beck, it's time for you to come in. You never sent your tone that ought to get up in the person you just saw. Hm. Chigundo, Mega Bionka, Joga, Miss Hemming, and the donkey and the Sinjil Morega Munjingojana. Bionka, me talk to you. Same thing you did. I never dated Surin. Sakinjo. Show a revenge show like this since the glory. What am I I can't believe he's held a torch for her for ten. How many years? A long time. Oh. Also, the granddad was a lot cuter in the web two series. I'm gonna be saying this a lot, of people. Just get used to it. Don't <laughs> It is GQ. You don't want it. 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 You None your business. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so sassy tonight, guys. Like, I gotta go get some sleep. What you Oh wow. Okay. It's a different turn, people. Oh, that's hard. 
For him to go hook up the girl that he likes, the guy that she used to like, who still likes her? Oh, that's hard. Oh, Will he even recognize her? Damn, girl! <laughs> For <real. laughs> ah. 아니, 그러니까 내가, huh? Guys, we're almost at the end of the episode. I'm gonna rip my hair out. It's not real anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> then indeed. Oh no. Don't yell it out. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. It, it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh. Triangle people. Oh. oh guys, like if you can't tell already, I am over the board hooked. Like these people have reeled me in. It's done. There's no saving me. It is not, I am not coming back from this. We are watching it to the end. We will watch the next episode and I'll see you in that one. Bye.